the top priority initially is a new athletic conference. So making sure athletically that we are creating the best interscholastic athletic programs for the kids and the communities that are involved. Um, but more so than that, it's about developing academics and arts, um, collaborations and competitions as well. We want to be more than just an athletic conference. We really want to be um, a conference that serves all um, the aspects of the student athlete. This is about doing what's best for our students. And uh, we believe at the, at the, at the heart of this, is it's about giving our students an opportunity to collaborate uh, with each other, learn from each other, compete against each other. As a group of schools, we wanted to, to build something that was gonna last a while uh, and make a commitment together to create opportunities to allow all of our kids to thrive uh, for years to come. That's about school districts working together within their programs, within other athletic programs, academic programs, uh, artistic programs, whatever it may be, and just having that connection a little bit more. Because every school district that we have in the River Cities Alliance at seven, seven schools is going to have exceptional programs in their building. They're going to have exceptional teachers, exceptional students. So why not learn from each other and connect with each other? I think it means working together as a team uh, with these seven schools. Just working close together in an intimate level, I think, is, is huge for River Cities. Opportunities to collaborate with each other, whether whether it's you know developing uh, you know all-star bands or um, you know all-star choirs, things like that, where you know the best of the best from each of our schools can work together um, to put together a product that would be really hard to do at the local level. See kids throughout the course of you know their four years here that develop good friendships with with the other six schools, right, and also be able to pick their brains about some of the things that they do in, in, with their sports teams at Allendale, at Coopersville. You know, um, what are the, what are those kids doing, or what are some of those programs doing? and how can we incorporate that here at Cedar Springs. You're meeting in smaller groups so you can really like narrow down what type of rules we want to have and scheduling and traditions. Especially in the AD world, um, a lot of our, our ADs um, collaborate and work really well together. You know, even more now, I think, you know, involving principals in some of our meetings, I think is able to, you know, bring to light some, some more interesting ideas. Uh, the conversation wasn't just athletics, it was all of our programs, uh, how do we work collaboratively together to make sure that what goes on in the RCA uh, is always improving. Now kind of go back a little bit historically to the OK Conference where you know every four years was a realignment. So the schools, uh, many of the schools were realigned every four years and they were put in a, a different division with different schools and different communities. I, th I think these seven schools really wanted to create a little bit more stability um, and look to be able to compete and collaborate with districts that are similar to them. It's one of the things that we never felt like we had in the OK Conference uh, because of the uh, continuous realignments was uh, establishing rivalry uh, schools. These seven schools are going to be our conference for the next 20 years. We never had that in the past, right? I mean, we were uh, in a different division every year over the last five rotations. Kind of going back in time, if you will, very nostalgic feel of you know, Coopersville and Lowell and Sparta um, back together again. Back to playing Sparta and Greenville and Lowell um, I think is very Im important to our community. The excitement is there from our communities as far as uh, who we're facing. It's going to be every year facing the same schools. A lot of coaches are very excited. The community's on board and backing us 100%. Just the competition's going to be great. It's really excited to see those those old rivalries be rekindled through that rivalry and competition people take pride in the things that are in their community um, just like we hope to do in our school as well that our kids will take pride in what we do um, on the field and off the field to play we're tied with a lot of the communities between our kids and only other kids in the communities our, our adults and only other adults there and so on and I think that's just going to make for some great rivalries. You're playing against teams that are just very similar to you, and I, I, and I kind of like that. You know, I mean, it's one of those things where the competition, I think, is going to be great in, in all of our sports. Our, our kids are excited, excited to become high school athletes, to, to become high school musicians, become high school artists. And we want them to be able to showcase their talents on, a, on the grandest stage possible. It really isn't just about wins and losses. It's more being competitive with schools that are similar and uh, similar communities, similar beliefs. We're really going to pride ourselves on, on competition and sportsmanship um, and competition in, in many things other um, than athletics. Do everything from a, a good sportsmanship perspective and, and, and try to come out on, on top if you can, um, but also how to be able to handle it when, when you're not successful and maybe when you do not win. Um, and, and so from an athletic perspective, again, I think competition is just kind of that, that natural thing that, that gets people to, to perform at their best and, and work hard. 
excellence. I mean, striving for excellence in everything. That's what you want as a, as a coach for all your kids to do. Um, but I think it's one of those things, like I said, just, just our schools in general, um, I think is that is that tagline is we want excellence in our schools, whether it's academics, choir, band. I mean, I think that's one thing that we're gonna strive for um, in the River Cities Alliance. Work together to create opportunities for our kids to demonstrate their excellence. Uh, with a smaller set of schools, we can make a commitment to do this together for years and years to come. When you do things together for a collective goal, regardless of what it is, your end result's always gonna get better. Work with each other, play against each other, and uh, really help each other you know, become their best. We wanna make sure we give our kids the best experience and a competitive environment, and um, doing it with like schools was the goal. One thing we all have in common is our want to stay together as a River Cities Alliance, build those relationships with those schools, and do great things for our communities and our kids. Um, we just want to go out and be our best here in year one um, and show everyone what we have to offer as an athletic and, and academics and arts alliance. It's not something that's going to go away when, when Mike Borman's gone or when of these other ADs leave. And it should last for generations. You know, we're hoping that these conference titles mean something, you know, not just this year, but in 10 years and in 20 years.